Do you use Todoist? Do you have experiments on for Todoist? Which you can find in settings and advanced because you should because then you can see when Todoist makes amazing updates and tests like this one. I've been screaming to have some sort of calendar view or setup that lets you see days in a row for so long. And now when you go to the upcoming section, if you press view, you can change from a list view to a board view, which guess what? Shows it in a much more digestible format. Let's go. If we can get 2,085 rounds of applause for Todoist, that would be appreciated because good Lord, they finally did it. As a wise man once said, should have had this already, but I'm appreciative regardless. This is awesome. This is a great experimental feature. Scream it from the rooftops. Actually, I might tweet at Todoist as I'm making this video. Your experimental board views are amazing. Please implement them permanently. Never thought you'd see that in a video. But yeah, they have this in your today section and you can still toggle between these just like other project views with shift V. You can do this in the today section as well if you wanna have a board view in here. This is stuff that they just really haven't decided to do before. And I don't know why, I, I really don't. I really don't know why, but regardless, I'm very grateful for it. And not only that, but they actually made a nice update too to recurring tasks. So if I do every Monday at 5 p.m. take out the trash, then I open this one. We'll see that if I add a subtask, I can also put some subtasks here of like, okay, example task. And then in the settings here on the top right is if I click recurring task options, you'll see that they actually made a little bit of a help section over here. You'll see that they have this new option for recurring task options. So you can either set it to complete, complete and reset subtasks or complete forever. So a lot of people have complained over the years of like, all right, man, when I, when, I, when I do this, I shouldn't have to also have the subtask be unrecurring. They should just be completed if I'm done with them, right? So this is like take out the trash, but okay, let's, let's go one step further. Weekly chores, right? Monday chores at 5 p.m. Every Monday, 5 p.m. do chores. Okay, so then it could be take out the trash. Another one could be sweep the floor. And then from here, if we change this recurring task option to this, you'll see that now once I do this, I check one off, I check the other off, then do this again, it'll reset the subtask. Now this was not a thing that you could do before. Before, if I had it set up like this, and I did this, I checked it off, it would not reset. It was set to this complete forever situation, but this would recur. So this is the kind of stuff that you want to see with Todoist. They hear what you say and they go, hey, well, we'll make the update. It may take a second, but we'll get there because this is one of the most functional to-do list apps on the market. And if you wanna become more functional in your day-to-day -day life, you wanna check out videos like this one on how to improve your productivity even more.